Wow. In 10 minutes, it was able to charge 10%. That's just incredible. This is a super quick charger. This solar panel is a super duper charger. Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last time I showed you how to hook up a solo panel to your smartphone. And you notice that the uh, solo panel was only 1.8 watts with about, I think, 180 milliamp. It was a very slow charger, in fact. I think it took, you know, four or five hours just to charge 10%. So it's not a very good uh, charger. So it may be helpful for maintaining the charge but in terms of increasing charge, it may not be the best solar panel to use that tiny 1.8 uh, watts. So, the solution to that is to get a bigger solar panel. This one is actually just right because, um, you know, you can actually put it in your backpack, I mean, or at least in your suitcase, okay? This is a 5.5 watt power with uh, 360 milliamp of current. But this is again, this is just for camping. This is for in a region where you know you don't have access to electricity, like hy electric, uh, hydroelectric. And this is good enough to charge your smartphone, right? Okay, let's get started. I'll show you how to hook it up. Okay, so let's look at the connection. So you notice this is the 5.5 watt um, solar panel. And at the end of it is the alligator clip, negative, uh, positive and negative. And then you, what you want is on the other side, you want to connect to this um, uh, DC plug socket with the alligator clip on the other end. Notice I plugged the negative side with the negative and positive with positive. And the other end, you can see the uh, uh, DC car plug socket. And then, of course, what you also need, that's about five bucks, by the way. You can buy that for around five bucks. And then what you also need is a universal uh, charger. It has a car adapter at the end. And at the other end is the USB, right? So you plug that in, and you notice I already see the charge coming already. There's that it, it can be there's a current that's running through, so that's why there's a red uh, LED light there. So and at the other end, you can see the USB <coughs> connector to the smartphone. So I will connect my smartphone to this one. Uh, hi, kitty. What are you doing? That's my cat, by the way. So what you want to do is connect this. USB, small micro USB to your smartphone. Let me see if I can find it. And there it is. And it should connect in. Okay, so notice it's connected. This indicating that there is current that's running through. And at the end of my um, uh, small USB connector, you can see that it's showing, it's charging now. Uh, it started as 20%. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put this solar panel outside for an hour, maybe two, and I will show you afterwards how much charging uh, has been done with a uh, 5.5 watt, 360 milliamp of, so, uh, of, uh, of this solar panel. How much uh, juice is gonna be put into this uh, smartphone. Okay, so let's see in about one or two hours. So I just wanna test how much voltage is running through this uh, solar panel. Notice this is inside still, so we're going to also test it outside. But it's it, the voltage is pretty high, it's at 22 volt. And we're going to do it. Do is we're going to go outside and then check that again. Okay, so it's about 22 volt that's running through. Um, next I'm going to check is the uh, amp, the current that's running through this uh, panel. They claim to be about 360 milliamp. So we'll see how much is actually it can get out from even a cloudy day like today. We'll see what happens. Okay, you can see here, I'm getting about uh, 60 milliamp. So this is reading uh, in terms of, you know, uh, amp, right? So it's 0 0.06 amp, which is equivalent to 60 milliamp. Uh, I'm actually off by a lot. We'll have to check outside and see what happened, uh, whether it actually reached the 360 milliamp that it claimed to be. So in other words, 0 0.36. Okay, so this is six times less than what it's reported. But again, this is outside, it's a cloudy day. We're gonna go outside right now and check it out, okay? Okay, so here we go, we are outside in the sun. We're getting between 300 and to 400 milliamp uh, of 
current it's going up now to almost uh, 600 670 milliamp or uh, 0.68 amp of current running through on a full sun okay pretty good and then we're looking at the uh, voltage it's uh, a full sun will give it a 26 volt okay well, that's pretty good okay now let's charge it now wow in 10 minutes it was able to charge 10 percent that's just incredible this is a super quick charger this solar panel is a super duper charger in 10 minutes 10 percent wow so in an hour that's 60 percent so we'll be able to charge this phone in an optimal sunny day an hour and a half full charge from 10 to 100 percent okay we'll wait another uh, 20 minutes then Let's see what happens it should in theory uh, if according to my calculation from 40 to 60 percent in 20 minutes after one hour it's 50 percent now so that's 30 percent charge in an hour remember today is very cloudy you see not a very good day to charge your cell phone but still it managed to get about 30 percent of um of juice in an hour